Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And happy new year to everyone that has been watching my videos, to everyone that actually subscribed, to everyone that actually follow me on Instagram. And today we'll be retouching this image that you see on my screen and you can actually edit along with me. So you can check the link in the description for the image itself. Quickly let me go over to the settings. So I was using the Sony a7 III for this. Uh, photo shoot and I was using the 27 actually 28 to 75 millimeter Tamron lens as you can see my exposure was 1 over 160 per second I was shooting natural light at 2.8 and my ISO was at 100 all right so the first thing we're going to do today is to zoom up the image and what we're going to do is to clean up the skin I'm going to remove any blemishes that is on the skin um, yeah so I'm going to create a new layer by pulling this down here then I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the uh, patch tool and I'm just going to remove any blemishes from the skin or anything that's on the skin that, uh, you know, doesn't look natural, alright? So I'm actually removing the, um, the light coming through the hat and also some pimples from the skin. Alright, that looks good. We can remove this one. Alright. I don't think there's anything else for me to remove from the model's face. But the hand, I'll just remove a few things. I'm using a tablet, actually, for the zooming in and zooming out of the image. You can check the link in the description as well for the tablet I'm using. It's pretty, it's pretty good. And I've been using it for maybe about a year now. And it's working great. Alright, so there's nothing else for me to do as it relates to cleaning up the skin. So what I'm going to do now is to go to Camera Raw by going to Filter and then come down to Camera Raw. Alright, so once Camera Raw is loaded, you're going to press Auto. And Auto is just going to give you, you know, the best exposure for the image. Alright, so that didn't do much, so I'm just going to bring up the shadows because the image is a little bit dark or underexposed. We'll bring up the shadows a little bit. And then, uh, I don't think there's anything else there for me to do. I'm just going to press OK. And then I'm going to do a frequency separation. For all my images, I do frequency separation. So I'm just going to come over here to the frequency separation action. You can check the link in the description for that. Alright. So I'm holding on on shift on the keyboard and I just move, I can move the image. Once the image is zoomed in, you can hold on on shift and you can move it just about anywhere. Uh, just to fit the screen how you want it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into the low frequency layer and then I'm going to press, well I'm not going to press any shot, I'm not going to use any shortcuts. So I'm going to come here to the mixer brush. My mixer brush is taken out and your mixer brush is going to be nested on the brushes. For the settings for the mixer brush, ensure that this icon is clicked, this one isn't. And your wet is going to be at 2%, everything else here remains the same. And do not click sample or layers. So what we want to do right now is to flatten the skin. So what I'm going to do right now is just to mix. I'm going to take my time to mix it because my radius is um, 6.4. So if I do too much mixing, the face will not look, its face will look um, soft. So you just want to mix certain area. She did her own makeup as well. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just mixing different sections of the model's face. Let's look at the before and after real quick. So before and after just a subtle um, adjustment trust me not all of your images you need to go all out on the retouching you just want to do you know just some basic touch-ups just to just blend your image a little bit so if you notice while I'm mixing I'm not mixing in this area right here because if I mix it it's not going to look good 
so you want to avoid mixing anything anytime you have a light coming through on the model skin like this you don't want to mix it just mix around it yeah that's it all right so same thing for the arm my hand right there good so I'm gonna come down to the model's thigh so I'm just gonna zoom up and then I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna get my brush bigger by using the bracket you can use a left and right bracket on the keyboard so all I'm doing is just flattening the skin basically and again try not to um, mix the area that has too much light with the dark area you mix them separately all right that's it so we don't really need to do a lot for this image let me go to the before and after so that's it you don't want to do too much trust me all right so let me come to the shoulder right here I think I want to blend here a little bit like go that good all right so the next step now is to I may want to zoom in a little bit more and do some cleanup right here. I'm going to go to the top layer here. I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the patch tool. I'm just going to patch right here a little bit. Looks a bit uniform. I think I like that. I didn't really do much, but let me see if I can go to the clone stamp tool and clone what's here hold on on alt click once and then come over here click again click just to match it good so let's look at it before and after for the lips before and after good all right so now I'm gonna do some dodge and burning so I'm gonna come here to the dodge and dodge is basically working on the highlighted area all right so gonna press B on the keyboard for my brush ensure that my flow is at 1% and the opacity is at uh, 100% and then the areas that should be highlighted I'm just gonna highlight them oh ensure that your foreground is white when you're painting on black because you won't see the effect under the eyes are normally highlighted dark you can highlight it as well the forehead is normally highlighted and also the chin all right so that looks good so the next step now is to come down to the model's thigh and do the same thing highlight this area here I don't think I need to do any highlighting anywhere else and I don't think I need to do any dodge. I don't think I need to do any burning. So so the next step now is to basically color the image. So I'm going to create a new layer. Control Alt um, Shift E. Create a new layer. And then Control. Well, I'm just going to drag it down here and create a new layer. I'm going to go to Camera Raw. All right, it's loading. All right, so I'm going to come right over to where it says Collaborations. And then I'm going to come down here to the blue. Um, uh, primary color before I do that let me see what the green primary color does oh I like this <laughs> I like that all right good and then I'm gonna play with the blue a little bit and see what it does all right so we're not going to use blue I think you it, the best thing to do is to use one or the other but let me see what red does okay red bring back uh, I think I like red a little bit primary color red Let's look at it before and after for everything. Alright. The Y. Good. So that's the before and that's the after. And I love what I'm seeing here with the um, after. I'm going to come over here to... You know what? I've never really used the curve tool here. Let me see what it does. Never used this before. Guess it works just like curve anyway I'm gonna wait did I put it back right there good all right so I'm going to come over to the HSL option and go to hue 
and then I'm just gonna play with the hue a little bit let me see what um, the green does all right so the green just give me more green which is obvious <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come over here to the saturation option and then I'm going to play with the blue. So in the jeans, I'm changing the jeans font's color. I'm going to make it a little bit more rich. And then I'm going to play with the yellows and see what yellows does. The yellows actually get rid of the um, temperature. All right, so this looks good. And the temperature that I'm talking about is basically this. So I could adjust that a little bit, give me a little bit more blue. I like how that looks. So I mean, color grading is very important, guys. Trust me. You want your image to kind of look a little bit natural. Well, not a little bit natural, but looks natural. And you know, this looks good. The before is just all. The before is is not white balanced properly. And this is this is that looks this over here look more white balanced. You know, like it's more yeah. So. I think I'm done with the color grading right here, so I'm gonna press OK. Alright. And then hmm, what am I what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna come right here to the uh, color balance. Alright, no, I don't like color balance anymore. I haven't used that in a long time. But I'm gonna come here to the blue in shadows. And before and after. Blue in shadows looks good. So this is it for the image. I don't think I need to do anything else. This looks good. Yeah so that is it so what i think i want to do now is to crop this image for instagram so ctrl alt shift e for the new layer then i'm going to come over here to the crop tool and then select the four to five ratio which is eight by ten and then i'm just going to use my arrow key and move it up you know what i don't even want to crop it because I'm getting rid of all of the thigh down here and I don't really want to get rid of the thigh. Let me see if I can do something here. So I'm gonna do this, duplicate. Come back here. And then I'm gonna come back here. I'm just going to just press enter and just crop it anywhere. then i'm going to come back over here to the copied version and then i'm just going to drag it over and hold on shift so it falls in the middle okay and then i'm going to control t control t what's happening here oh control t and then i'm just going to bring this right in like this right there good then I'm gonna press enter and then this is now the fun part I am going to make a selection and stretch the image so make a selection over the top portion of the image then right click and go to oh I have to control T first and then I'm gonna go to this start and pull this over let me see what this looks like Control D to deselect this looks good you would never know that I actually um, pull it over like that <laughs> you would never know trust me all right I'm gonna do the same thing with this side Control T to start and pull so it may look like, you know, it's just blurred out because of how the image was taken. All right, right here, I think I want to fix it up a little bit. I'm going to press S on the keyboard for the constant tool. And then we're going to sample and paint right there. Sample and paint. Wait. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh, guys, I totally forgot to tell you guys that I have purchased all the um, all the the to, the uh, parts for my new computer, so that one is coming soon. So you I won't be having any more problems when I'm editing. 
so that is it that is it for the image the image is now ready for instagram so how to save it for instagram is pretty easy you come right here to it says file export save for web and then it's loading it's loading then you're gonna come here and put 1080 click your screen it gets smaller ensure that right here says um, JPEG and high and then all you got to do now is to press done no sorry I think it's save yeah save and then you could just save it wherever I'm gonna save it on my desktop and that's it so the image is now ready for um, uh, Instagram wait was this the one I just did no good all right so that's it guys so if you've learned anything from this you can just give me a thumbs up <laughs> like and subscribe and follow my instagram and yeah that's about it so stay tuned for more videos guys bye bye